New snapshots from Mars this morning. The Trace Gas Orbiter, which launched in March 2016, has uh, recently provided a new vantage point to view the red planet. National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fizekas is in Montreal. Good morning, Andrew. Good to see you. I wonder, first of all, tell us more about these new pictures of Mars and what they're revealing to scientists. Yeah, so what you're looking at is this amazing high-resolution image by a brand new Mars orbiter that's opened its eyes for the first time. This is a test image by the Trace Gas Orbiter. This is put up by the European Space Agency. It arrived at Mars in orbit around Mars on October 2016, and it, it had a very wide looping orbit. And over the course of the last year and a half, it's uh, been doing what's called aerobraking maneuvers, dipping down into the outer atmosphere of Mars to allow it to break it, to slow it down and get it into a, a, a nice tight circular orbit. So right. now that's where we're at, 400 kilometers above the surface of Mars. And we're looking at an edge of a crater that is beautifully filled with a lot of ice deposits. It's a 40 kilometer wide view. And it's one of the most uh, um, detailed views that we've had of the surface. Uh -huh. uh, we had sort of a uh, variety of pictures th showing viewers just a moment ago. And we're back to this picture again that I, I just can't make heads or tails of it. It, it looks like the edge of a, of a rusty tin can, to be honest with you. Andrew, is this, uh, is this one of the pictures? I don't know whether you can see it. A moment ago, we were uh, also looking at the assembly of this spacecraft that has come up with these pictures, uh, this Trace Gas Orbiter. What can you tell us about the assembly of this? Yeah, I mean, this is a, a, a brand new type of mission that uh, really took up over a decade to assemble by scientists. And it's a new type of mission, new type of equipment that's designed to look for trace gases, as the name implies, particularly methane. This is a very interesting gas here on Earth. 90% of the production of methane in the atmosphere of Earth is caused by biological organisms. It's a natural byproduct of life. And so we've found hints. The Cur Mars Curiosity rover uh, for the last few years has been sniffing the surface of Mars and has noticed that there is hints of methane. Methane doesn't last very long in, the, in, in an atmosphere condition. It dissipates very quickly. So it means that there's a generation right now of mm. methane in certain spots on Mars. So the idea with this orbiter by the European Space Agency is to see globally where those hot spots are. Oh, I see. Um, this, is, this is a little better. I like these pictures a little more than that first one, Andrew, and I, I have to admit I'm feeling a little mischievous. Uh, I hope that wasn't the only uh, picture that came from this very expensive space orbiter. This one that we're looking at right here uh, is kind of, to my eye, I'm sorry, Andrew, looks a little underwhelming. Do you know which one I'm referring to in case you can't see it? I can't. I, I don't have access to it, but th right. you have to in mind that these images that we're getting are really the uh, preliminary images from the mission. And the mission will last for many years. So they're testing the cameras right now, but, the, but the, this will have one of the most highest resolution image capability of the surface of Mars, trying to locate sources for those methanes that mm. we're talking about. So the best is yet to come, as it always is, each Sunday with you, National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fizekas. Thanks so very much and enjoy your day, my friend. Clear skies.